Hey everyone and welcome to the knowledge portal video series. So finally after few months of intensive efforts we are back with a brand new course for AWS Solutions Architect Associate. Now I know many of you might ask like Zeel why another course on Solutions Architect Associate there are already so many courses in the market. And the one answer to this which I can give you is the learning standards. So for those of you who have already subscribed to some of my courses like AWS Certified Security Specialty, you know on how detailed we go into each and every topic. And this is some aspect that we will be continuing in this course as well. So let's look into it. So there are two ways of learning. One is the quick way and second is the correct way. So we'll take example of this certification as well. So if we go in a quick way, uh, you can always study the things which are important for exams. It might take you 10 to 15 days to do that and you will clear exams with a very good score. Like I can guarantee you that. So in a quick way, uh, it is much more faster approach. However, the overall practical knowledge that you will be getting is quite less. However, in a correct way, it will take a longer time initially because you have to establish a solid base and along with that, you will have a detailed understanding upon the practical aspect because every topic that you will be studying, you will also be performing the practical. So not only it will take you a bit longer time, but it will also give you a very good understanding about the services which you are learning. The next important point is that in a quick way, you only study about a specific vendor. So this is one important aspect. However, in a correct way, we definitely study about the specific vendor, but we also have a broader knowledge on the other vendors if their services are much more better. Because if you are going to work in an industry, you are not going to be a 100% vendor specific. You need to understand on which other cloud providers are providing much more better resource. So that understanding is also very much required. And last important point is that it will create lot of challenges in a longer term. Because since you have not performed practical, you do not really know about the broad classification related to other vendors. You do not really have a industry level practical knowledge. So this will create a lot of challenges in the longer term. However, if you go in a correct way, it will give you a perfect base for your long time career. Let me give you one of the example. I have, I had two friends and both of them were studying a very good certification called as certified ethical hacker. Now one of my friend cleared that certification within around one month, within 30 days itself. However, my second friend took like six months to cover the same certification. So there was a very long interval between both of these friends. However, the first friend, he went through a quick way. He got a good marks, but he lacked the practical aspect. However, the second friend, he went through a correct way. He did all the practical uh, which were present. He went out of the way to understand things in much more detailed way. And now my second friend, he's one of my colleagues. He work as a senior solutions architect in one of the top ISPs in the country. So this is the reason why I say always follow the correct way. So going into the things that we will be covering in this specific certification course is that we will be covering various topics. We'll start with the fundamentals of cloud computing. Once we study the fundamentals of cloud computing and we understand what cloud computing really is, then we go ahead and set up our labs in AWS. Once we set up our labs in AWS, then we go ahead and understand various aspects related to infrastructure, networking and storage. We look into how we can build a highly available and scalable infrastructure followed by the identity and access management where we talk about principle of least privilege and other aspects. Once we do that, we have a detailed 
सेक्शन ऑन क्रिप्टोग्राफी सर्वरलेस कंप्यूटिंग डेटाबेसिस डी एन एस एंड मेनी मोर एंड फाइनली वंस वी कवर ऑल ऑफ दिस वी हैव अ वेरी नाइस एग्जाम प्रिपेरेशन सेक्शन विच विल हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड ऑन वॉट आर द थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू फोकस इन ऑर्डर टू क्लियर द एग्जाम्स विथ गुड स्कोर नाउ वी ऑलरेडी हैव मोर देन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी लेक्चर्स विच आर प्रेजेंट सो आई कैनॉट रियली फिट एवरीथिंग इन वन स्लाइड एंड दिस इज द रीजन वाई वी हैव पुट एज मेनी मोर ओवर यूर नाउ वन थिंग इम्पॉर्टेंट टू रिमेंबर इज दैट ऑल ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट वी विल बी कवरिंग आई वुड से मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स वी विल बी लुकिंग इन टू द प्रैक्टिकल एस्पेक्ट एंड वील बी लुकिंग इन टू वॉट आर द चैलेंजेस दैट वी माइट फेस इन अ रियल वर्ल्ड एनवायरमेंट एज वेल सो दैट इट कैन गिव यू अ वेरी सॉलिड अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड यू विल बी रेडी वंस यू स्टार्ट वर्किंग एज अ सोल्यूशन आर्किटेक्ट इन अ इंडस्ट्री सो लास्ट प्राइमरी एम इज टू लर्न एंड दिस इज समथिंग दैट वी हैव बीन फोकसिंग इन ऑल द कोर्सेज दैट वी हैव लॉन्च सो प्राइमरी एम इज लर्निंग एंड वी विल ऑलवेज बी गिविंग एम्फोसाइज ऑन स्टडिंग थिंग्स इन अ इन डेप्थ मैनर नाउ लेट मी गिव यू वन ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस लाइक बिफोर वी एक्चुअली स्टार्ट विद ए डब्ल्यू एस दिस इज अ ए डब्ल्यू एस सर्टिफिकेशन कोर्स बट बिफोर वी एक्चुअली इवन बिगिन विद ए डब्ल्यू एस वी इनिशियली डू अ लॉट ऑफ बेस बिल्डिंग सो first lecture is all about introduction to cloud computing platform so we have to understand what cloud computing really is before we understand about aws then we look into various type of cloud computing models which are infrastructure as a service software as a service platform as a service we look into various vendors which provides these cloud computing models so we are not just sticking with aws there are a lot of other vendors as well for which you need to have a high level understanding about once we talk about this we go into a architecture of cloud computing environment then we speak about various characteristics of a cloud service provider and once we have a very solid understanding about cloud computing then we start with our first lecture related to the certification course which is introduction to the amazon web services so this kind of a pattern is been followed for all the lectures so that whatever we study we have a very solid foundation and again i would like to let you know that in certain aspects i would really uh, be speaking about various other cloud vendors as well because it is not like aws is the best there are other cloud vendors as well and when you start working in industry as a solutions architect having knowledge about other solution solutions is also quite important so when you talk about this entire course this course will give you a very solid understanding related to amazon web services cloud computing and the overall market of the cloud service providers so this is it about this lecture i have really worked very hard to create this course and this is the reason why we have a lot of lectures in this specific course so i'm very excited and i hope you are too so if you have any questions or if you would like to connect to us you are feel free to connect us at twitter facebook or linkedin or mail us at instructors@kplabs.in So I hope you understood or you got what you intended from this introductory course and I look forward to see you aboard